Anyway, so what in worship? Really and truly, this is a testimony. I feel, I just feel that thing. I just feel that thing. I feel that thing. You ever been driving? You ever been driving? In the spirit of worship, come on you. You just, just, you're driving, right? You're driving. And you're listening to some worship music. And all of a sudden you're going worship. You just start worshiping. Say, that be happening to me sometime. I'll be worshiping. And I'll be driving like this. All of a sudden that worship come on. And I'll be like, oh. My hands go up like this. My hands go up like, I get to worship for some reason. My hands go up like this. I be worship and I be crying. I don't know why my hand go up. I guess that's a poor form of surrendering. But my hand go up like this. And I get to worship and I'm driving this big old vehicle. Like I want to stop traffic or something. I don't know. Praise God. But I just be worshiping. They'd be like, oh. I can't explain it. I can't explain it. You know, almost like when you get to worship and you know, and you're driving. Now you're in traffic. You're in traffic. So you can't be closing your eyes and throwing up your hands. Because you're in traffic. You might around and hurt somebody. But you feel like saying, Jesus, just take the wheel. <laughs> But you can't do it because you run some folks over. <laughs> so you got to say, Jesus, keep one hand on the wheel, close one eye. This eye might be teary. <laughs> we say, Jesus, hallelujah. You can still say, take the wheel, but, you know, he ain't going to take the wheel. He's going to tell you to pull over. <laughs> so I just want to share that with y'all. I heard people talk about that, that driving and worship experience. I feel that. Boy, this just come on you. This be... You want to throw both hands up, but you can't do it because you hurt somebody. So that's my testimony. So I feel good. <clears throat> so another thing I want to share with y'all. Because like I said, two things I want to talk about. I want to talk about that worship. So he get to worship, start worshiping. Just pull over. Don't ask Jesus to take the wheel because he ain't gonna take the wheel. <laughs> he gonna tell you to pull over and worship. Hallelujah. Mess around, hurt somebody. But anyway, saints. We're supposed to encourage people. That's our job. If you agree with me, shake your head. You know like Dora Store, Dora Explorer do. She asks a question. She do y'all hear me? Then she look at the screen like this. Like she can really see you guys. <laughs> so shake your head. <laughs> I know I can't see you. What <laughs> I'm just y'all could be my imaginary friends. <laughs> Praise God. Anyway, but you ain't imaginary, you're real. You're real. So anyway, praise God. Yeah, my friends don't lie to me. Hey, how you doing? Hey, y'all friends don't lie to me? Y'all share me. Help me out. Y'all want, want some friends. I need some more friends. I have family, but I want more friends. You know what I'm saying? Anyway, but anyway, real quick. I'm not going to be there for you long. But see, as Christians, we're supposed to encourage people. That's what we're supposed to do. We're supposed to help people out. That's what we do, right? If somebody needs to be talked to, you talk to. Them. But what if you don't understand what they just said? And you know they're going through. For example, they come up to you, and you know, and you know they hurt. They come up to you, man, this is a situation I will be, and, and you know, can can you help me, please? You don't know what they just said. You don't know what they just said. But all you know that they're in trouble. We be like, ah, uh, oh. Uh, Okay, uh, what's going on with you? All right, you don't know what they say in the first place. Then they got they start talking some more. Then they said, "Man, I was going down the street in this situation, and my friend and I don't know. Will you help? Will you help me?" And you looking at them like in your mind, you saying, "What the heck did you just say?" But you know they're distraught. What do you do? <laughs> what do you do? You know they in trouble. You don't know what they just said. You know they said something. 
but you don't know what they just saying. Now, this is the trick part. You can say something, can take them both ways. So that's why you gotta have Jesus in your heart. So when somebody come up to you and you don't know what the heck they just said, you have to say, Jesus. Then in the situation, they'll say, yes, yes, yes. And you're like, Lord, I don't know what these people are talking about. Because I dealt with folks, and they said, Pastor, brother, this man was going down the street, my friend, the lady, and I don't understand. She was doing this, and I was just crying. And do you, do you really understand me? And you looking at them like, oh, oh. the awesome word, Jesus. Oh, then you break them down. Saints. We have to be wise in what we do when we're dealing with people. Even if you don't know what they're saying. Because you can say the wrong things. So, the best word to say is, Jesus. They could be hungry. I'm hungry and I'm eating and, and now you know, because they may have a speech impediment or something. And I'm hungry and I'm getting, you say, Jesus, oh yes, Jesus can feed me. you like, oh God. So saints, we're supposed to encourage folks. If you don't know what to say, <coughs> say Jesus. <clears throat> Trying to make me cough. If they look like they're hungry, <clears throat> say Jesus can feed you. He's a brand of life. <laughs> and that, that can help them out. Because sometimes people be distraught. They be heartbroken. They don't know what to do. Don't know what to say. And their words just come out all crazy. So you got to be wise in when you're speaking with people. So I just want to share that. So next time somebody come up to you, don't know what to say, just say Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. So pretty much that was my testimony for today. So y'all be blessed. Help me out. Share Brother Slice. Share Brother Slice. That would say speech impediment thing come out. Now share Brother Spice, Slice. So we can reach out and encourage some more folks. Amen. Amen. Praise God. Turn this off.